The Olight Swivel does so many things right, but they got one major part of this wrong. And it's very unfortunate, but it's not gonna stop me from using this light in many different situations, but I won't pull it out in very few. I'm gonna go through this top to bottom. Stick with us. The Olight Swivel is a multi-mode flashlight and floodlight. The flashlight is 200 lumens max, floodlight 400 lumens max. It basically has three magnets here so you could magnetize this to something or just set it down and you have detents that will allow you to move all the way out to straight. And that straight portion would be if you use the hanger. That's a spring-loaded little piece. This is nice if you're gonna use this in different situations, especially working on cars. I could see it camping. I could see it fishing, boating, doing a lot of things, especially if you have something that's metal to push this down to, because it is very strong, and we'll get into that. The way you turn this on is simply push the button. If we turn it on, leave the button go on for more than three seconds, the next time we turn it or push the button, it will actually turn off. You can see our battery is sitting over here. So if we push this again, it should turn off. I believe it's in the medium mode. So if I push this on, push it again, it goes to high, push it again, it goes to low, push it again, it turns off. If you leave it for more than three seconds, you have to turn it off and then back on to go through the different levels. And if we have it on, no matter how long, if we push and hold, It'll switch to its other mode, and again, within three seconds, you can push that, and it'll go, uh, that was high, low, and off. There is no medium on the flashlight. And it'll remember where it was, no issue. And then you can just scroll through everything from there. Pretty cool light in how it works. The switch is super simple. It does have a USB charging port on the side that is USB-C. So, works easy, 2.6 amp hour battery that's inside. The one thing that they didn't get right, in my opinion, is going to be the color temperature. So if you're a mechanic and you're like, yes, this is absolutely rocking. If we turn this on and then we look at the color temperature of the Milwaukee, this is well, running, it's dead. 4,500 lumens here. That's gonna be, I'm gonna guess, close to 6,500 lumens you're gonna have some issues with looking at colors of wires with this. It's not gonna show through clear. So if you have purple, it could look pink. It's just something that I think Olight always does is put too high of a color temperature in their lights. But for most people in most places, as long as you're not working with sensitive colors on wires, this is going to work well. For simple tasks underneath the vehicle, especially one that has a lot of steel on it, this is perfect. The magnet is great. I basically have it on the two magnets here, not the third. If I wanted to show you how good it sticks, I mean, it, it's not gonna just stay and withhold you beating on it, but it's pretty good on there. I'm pretty impressed. If we look at the amount of light that it puts out, that's not bad at all, especially for where we have it aiming. We're simply just going to change oil here, and changing oil is one of those things that is not going to have any effect on this light or the color temperature. Could be slightly harder on your eyes, possibly, I guess, than um, what a 4,500 or lower color temperature might be. I would be a lot more comfortable if it was that, because I could recommend this to mechanics and people who would be using it all day long. Where it's at now at about 6,500, this is probably more of a recreational use because mechanics are gonna wanna have everything in the right color temperature and really be able to see what color everything is, especially wiring. And you're not gonna wanna just switch lights or spend the money on this light if you have to switch lights uh, just to see what's going on with some sort of wiring. If we really wanna get in here, we can take a look at the modes. We're gonna push the button, the light's gonna turn off. Push it again to turn it on because it's been on a while. Push it again, that goes up to high. Push again, it'll go down to, well, it left it too long. High, and then there's low. If I push and hold, that'll turn the flashlight portion on. And 
this flashlight portion is going to give you a longer throw, less lumens, so we could back that up complete. But this is gonna turn the light off again because of the time. Turn it back on, push the button again. There's low on the flashlight. So there's quite a bit of light that's thrown here, which is great. Uh, just gives you a little bit less of a flood. And this is gonna remember where you were or what mode you were in when you turn it on. It's always gonna turn on the flashlight on high and it's always gonna turn on the floodlight on medium. So if we just push and hold again, go back to the flood, and we're back on medium. So if you're considering this light, the other part of it that's really nice is its runtime. You have nine hours on medium of the floodlight, and when I turn it on and use it under a car, that is absolutely perfect for me. If I needed more, you're gonna get five hours on high in 90 hours on low on that floodlight. That is amazing. So you could use this long term in different places. If you're using the spotlight or the flashlight up front, five hours on high, 27 hours on low. The battery inside this is encased. It's not replaceable. So when it goes bad, you're just gonna toss this and grab a new one. That is unfortunate. It would have been nice to slide an 18650 in there and have something that's a little bit more long-term as far as this light, because I'm sure it's going to probably outlast the battery. Other than that, USB-C charging, it charges up very fast. In about three hours, you can have this thing completely charged. So it's one of those things when you leave the shop, plug it in by the next day, it's completely good. Uh, or if you needed it quickly, you could give it a couple bars over lunch, no issue. I like everything about it but the color temperature. And if it had a different color temperature, I would be jumping up and down saying you have to have this. I'm sure Olight's gonna put a little bit of a premium on it because it is a good quality light. There are many other lights out there like this, but they're just not this quality. And I have to give it to Olight, and I know a lot of people probably don't give them props for what they put out. They do put out a very nice light. It's gotta work on that color temperature. Either way, guys, curious to know what you think about this. Leave those comments below. As always, give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.